Hey guys, my name is Jamie. Welcome to my channel or welcome back if this isn't your first time. If it is your first time, welcome. I'm so happy to have you here. Yep. Today I am unboxing my Stitch Fix box for December. It is mid-December now, so probably the last one I'm going to have this month. So I'm really interested to get into this box. I have to tell you guys, I have no idea what's in here. I did get the preview and I turned down almost everything. So the only thing I know that's in here is a blazer. It's a pretty small box though, especially for winter, which it basically is here in New England. It's pretty warm today at like 40 something degrees, but normally this time of the year, it's in the 30s. It's only going to get colder. So I don't know what's in here, but it doesn't seem like there could be many thick items. So we'll see. We'll check out that blazer. So if you watched my last Stitch Fix unboxing, I had the best box ever, like literally the best box I've ever gotten. It was full of these really like classic, beautiful pieces that I could wear for years. And I asked for more of that in this box. And my preview had a bunch of like like athletic things and just sort of comfy, cozy things for wearing at home. Nothing <laughs> like my last box had had. So I was really confused. I think I have the same stylist. I'll check when I open this box, but it was very confusing. So I did have that blazer, so I guess that would fit the category, but everything else was just strange. So and it's not stuff I really have bought in the past either. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to stop talking. We're going to get into this box. Let's see what my stylist picked out for me after I turned down everything else. So here is my bundle. Interesting. It looks like we still have like a soft, <laughs> cozy piece in there. That's okay. And then ooh, some color up here that looks like a blouse of some kind. And no idea. Some black pants and some piece of packing. All right. <laughs> So I'm sure for the most part you all know how Stitch Fix works. This is my return mailer so I can send back anything I don't want to keep. Shipping is free going back. And then this little packet will have all of my information. I'm not going to look at the pieces too closely, but I do want to see if I have my regular stylist whose name is Kelly. Um, let's see. Yeah, I do. So let's get right into this. <laughs> see what she sent. I always do prices at the end because I don't like to be swayed by the prices. So let's open this bundle right up. Okay, the first piece is by West Key. It's the Allen Surplice Tie Sleeve High Low Blouse in white extra small. So this is a really pretty floral pattern. It's very springy to me, um, but it would go nicely with some leggings I just bought. I think they're like a like a dark olive and I think it would look pretty with those. So I really do love the colors, definitely more for spring, but they're really, really pretty. I also don't really generally do this like elasticy, blousey front. So I am interested to see what that looks like on, but it's generally not my style. So the next thing is this, oh, bodysuit by Lush. Oh, this is cute. I like that. I really, really like that. What color is this? Let's see if it'll tell me. This is the Lush Mary Open Neckline Knit Bodysuit in brown, and it's an extra small. Okay, that's cool. I don't, I don't know. We'll see if an extra small fits. It definitely feels like it has plenty of stretch, and I really am liking that neckline. I think it's interesting and fun. The sleeves look like they're plenty long. I don't know if you can see the color. It's definitely brown, so hmm, that'll be fun. It's a very dark brown, though. All right, next up is this market and spruce top i think i have this exact same top from stitch fix in a different color although this one oh wait is this a dress i think this is a dress <laughs> it's very long so it's definitely a dress all right this is the aria cozy hatchy dress in gray and this is a small okay definitely a little more casual than i normally wear but it feels super soft which is really nice and next up is that blazer that I talked about earlier. I don't have a black blazer. It's just kind of a classic piece that probably I should have, and I don't. This one is an interesting material. It's not your normal blazer material. I'll have to look and see. Let's look and see right now because, you know. <laughs> So the shell is 86% polyester, 14% uh, rayon, and then the contrast is 61% polyester, 31% rayon, and 8% spandex. What's the contrast? Oh, maybe this, maybe the sleeves. Oh, I hadn't even seen those before. I didn't notice that on the preview either. The sleeves are like rolled and gray. Hmm, okay. So this is the, this is Stitch Fix exclusive. This is the Skies Are Blue Asa Knit Blazer, and this isn't an extra small. All right, interesting. And then the very last piece here is a pair of STS Blue stretchy black jeans. Ooh, I like these a lot. 
size 28 they have a good stretch here i could probably wear these to work because they don't come across as jeans so much to me as like more pants so just because they don't maybe because they're jeggings they don't have that jeans feel so these are the sts blue emma mid-rise ankle skinnies in black and they're size six so excited to try those on all right i am going to read my note from my stylist off camera <laughs> because I don't want to bore you guys and I will be right back with a try on. I am definitely more excited about some of these pieces than I originally thought I would be. All right, so let's start with the blouse, the jeans, and then I'll throw on that blazer because that's what my stylist suggested I pair together. So why not do that and sort of like <laughs> speed this try on up a little more than I usually do. So this blouse is by West Key. It's stitched here at the top for sort of like more of a modest look, but it is a pretty deep V. I love the colors in this top and I love florals. I, I do think this top is more of a spring look, but I, I am loving the colors. So here's the whole thing. Um, this is not really, I don't love these like elastic waistbands here. It does make it so you don't have to decide whether to tuck it in or not, which is nice. But I had a blouse like this, two of them actually, and I got rid of them because I never wore them. I just, I don't know. I would love to know what you guys think about blouses like this. I think just in general, they're not my style. Maybe because it's a little blousier and I tend to like things a little bit more on the fitted side, but I don't know, you let me know. I do love the length in the back. I think it's great for covering up the bum, especially on a skinny pair of jeans. And I think the ties on the sleeves are really sweet. I think that because they're further back, they wouldn't bother me. If they were more like at my wrist, they would bother me more. But in general, they, they don't bother me. And I think it's a cute detail. So anyway, I would love to know what you guys think. I need to maybe look at this a little bit closer in the mirror, but I just, something about this I don't love. And I'm afraid I think if it shrunk at all, it would be up too high. Let's look at the jeans. Yeah. Okay, so these are the STS blue jeans and they are black. So I'm not sure how well they're coming across. Hopefully okay. They fit really nicely. I love the fit. I don't know if they're a little bunchy at the knees, maybe a little bit. They fit more like a work pant, which I think is really nice because I could wear them to work and they'd be really comfortable. And I would still be wearing like pants even though they feel like jeans and feel super comfy so I don't know I have to think about these but I do really like them and I'm liking them with this sort of top and I do have a top that's very similar to this that I could wear with them so yeah I'm even liking them with this top even though I wasn't sure about the top I like the way they look together so let me see if I can get a little bit closer here for you guys you can see they're like a nice fit I'm wearing a cami <laughs> just because I was wearing something a little bit more see-through here's the back I have not looked at the back so I guess I'll see when I look at this video but again black hides a lot so all right let me put on that blazer Okay, so this is the Skies Are Blue blazer. I probably wouldn't wear it with this top, but I might. I don't know. I probably wouldn't like that sticking out the bottom. I think this blazer fits really nicely. It's a really like comfy fit as opposed to my other blazers, which maybe were a little a little stiff. I don't like anything I'm wearing to feel stiff, especially because I work with kids. I'm on the floor all the time. I just I don't have any room in my life for stiff clothing. I will say I probably could go up a size in this. It feels like it, I don't know. It feels like maybe a little bit tight in the arms, maybe because of the top I'm wearing under it. So maybe a size small would be better in a blazer. I always kind of size up in over clothing because something's going under them. But here's the back of this one. I'll give you a close up on the sleeves. This is a fun detail, this gray here. It sort of makes it a little bit more playful, not quite so businessy. So I really like that. And then I don't know if you can see the texture on this. It almost looks like sort of a teeny little waffle knit. You probably can't see it super well in that lighting, but it's it makes it stretchy and I really like the fit of it because of the stretchiness and the less fuzzy, fussy like polyester feel. All right, let's move on to the next piece. Okay, next up is this Mark and Spruce Hachi Knit Dress. This one is very soft and comfortable. I would have to wear leggings or tights or something with this because it's definitely on the lighter side and obviously only goes to above my knees. So I would definitely, especially in the New England winter, I would have to wear tights. I also, I'm not sure how I feel about the tightness across here. I feel like it leaves nothing to the imagination. So I tend to like my dresses a little less fitted here just because I feel self-conscious and I never want to feel self-conscious when I'm 
out and about or at work or whatever. So I do like the stripes. I like that it's a little bit more casual. I think it's just kind of a fun look. I have the buttons across here and then the stripes sort of start, you know, right at the bust line. And yeah, it's just kind of a fun, more casual, more athletic kind of look. Here's the back. Oh, I would love to know what you guys think. I think maybe because of the fittedness across here, I'm not sure that I would really feel great in it. I'd feel like I was have, gonna have to suck myself in all day and nobody ever wants to do that. So I don't know, I think I might have to pass on this one, but the, the um, stripes match up really nicely, which I know a lot of people that's important for. And I feel like the lines start at a nice place. So anyway, all right, would love to know what you guys think of this style for me. I it's just something I don't normally do. So sort of out of my comfort zone. All right, let's move on to that last piece. Okay, last up is this bodysuit by Lush. I am really liking this color. I, for some reason this year, I am into not only pinks and whites, but like mocha colors. I just think they're really, they're just a color I'm drawn to this winter. So I will say you can probably see a peak of my bra. You definitely can. It's a nude bra, but this goes over far enough that it hits my bra. I'm not sure how bra friendly this would be for most people. This bra is definitely like, I'll give you a little peek. It's not super bulky or anything, but it's still going to show a little bit. And you can see a peak of my tattoo as well, which you normally can't see in my tops. So anyway, that's the front here. It's that fun mocha color. It's definitely a nice silhouette. I really am liking the way it feels. It's nice and soft. It's long enough on my arms, which is nice too. Here's the back, just kind of plain brown, but great to pair with like skirts and, um, I could even throw a cardigan on over it for work. I probably would have to. I just feel like because my bra is showing and I really can't go without a bra or even do like a strapless bra at work. So I would have to wear something over this probably so my bra wouldn't keep trying to peek through. But I think this is a really fun neckline. So what do you guys think? Would you go for something like this? Do you think it suits me? <laughs> I think it's a little more on the edgy side and I don't normally go for those types of things, but I would love to know what you think. All right, let's go see what the prices are on all of these things. All right, guys, let's go through the prices of these things and see what my thoughts are. I, I feel like I have mixed feelings about this box, so let's take a look. All right. Number one, the West Key Allen Surplus tie sleeve high low top. This one is $44. I love the florals on this. I love the sort of springy look. I love thinking it's going to be spring soon, but it's not. <laughs> We're stuck in winter here for another like four, close to five months probably. And so I probably wouldn't get wear out of this until spring. And by then I might not really like it that much anymore. So this one's going to go back, but I appreciate the details on that one. Next up was the Skies Are Blue Asa Knit Blazer for $68. This one is really cool. I really like this blazer. I think I would have to size up in it though because I just feel that that extra small, even though it felt like, I feel like it looked nice, it was, I think, a little too fitted for wearing something underneath, which obviously it's a blazer, you're gonna wear something underneath. So I would have to size up in that one. Um, next up were the STS Blue Emma Mid-Rise Skinny Jeans in black, size 6. These are $52. I think that's a really good price for a pair of nice jeans, but I feel like the fit was just off by just a little bit on these. They fit really nicely around my waist, which was awesome, but I think on my legs they were a little bit baggier than I would like for skinny jeans. I have the perfect pair of black skinnies, and I have been on the lookout for a couple of years. <laughs> For another pair. I don't think these are them, even though I love how comfortable they are. I just feel like they were just a little too big around the knee area. And so I think I'm going to send those back. If I tried for a size four, I think they'd be too small. All right, next up is this Hachi Net dress by Market and Spruce. This is the Gloria cozy Hachi dress in gray, size small, and it's $54. So this one, I just don't really need it in my wardrobe. I liked it, I think it was fun, but I don't think I would get that much wear out of it. And because it was a little fitted around my midsection, I just didn't love that look on me. So that one's gonna go back. And then last up was this bodysuit. This one was the Lush Mary Open Neckline Knit Bodysuit in brown, size extra small, 
for $40. I think this fit like a glove, which I guess is really how a bodysuit is supposed to fit. I loved the neckline and it was super fun. It's very soft. My husband really liked it. The only thing I didn't love was that the cutout really got my bra strap and I have to wear a bra. So I'm really not going to wear a strapless bra at work or really even around the house <laughs> because it's not comfortable for me. So I need to pick things that are, you know, practical to wear, but also that I love. So even though I love the idea of this and it was just a really nice bodysuit, it wouldn't be practical for me, unfortunately. So that's going to go back. So I'm not sure if I'm keeping anything from this box yet. I wish I could keep those black jeans. If I could keep anything, I probably would have kept the black jeans, but I just feel like they're just not exactly right. And I have made a decision that I'm only buying things that really are perfect for me and look absolutely wonderful. So let me know your thoughts on this box. What would you keep from this one? Did you feel like that that blazer, you would keep it and maybe go up a size. I'm still trying to decide if I'm going to do that. A blazer, I feel like, is a piece that is important to have in my wardrobe, especially in more of a professional office. But yeah, I don't know. I, I would have to go up a size. And then would it be too big? I don't know. <laughs> This is a this is a tough box for me. So let me know your thoughts. I would love to see them. Leave them in the comments below. Thank you as always for coming along with me and joining me for this unboxing. I love to do this kind of thing on my channel. I've been doing Vlogmas for the last 12 days. I only lasted 12 days, <laughs> but I'm back with my normally scheduled unboxings and clothing hauls and try-ons and just a little bit of lifestyle stuff stuck in there in between. So if that sounds like something you'd enjoy, please consider hitting that subscribe button and join me for the rest of my videos. Thanks guys and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.